Hello! Today we meet again in Biology Form 4 KSSM video, Chapter 4, Chemical Composition in a Cell. Content standard for today's lesson is 4.1 Water. The learning standard, pupils are able to 4.1.1 Describe the properties of water molecule, 4.1.2 Correlate the properties of water with its importance in the cell. Now, we look at the structure of a water. What is water? Water is inorganic compound. It consists of one atom oxygen, as you can see in the diagram with the label O, and two atoms hydrogen in the diagram with the label H. And this atom oxygen and two atoms hydrogen are bonded with hydrogen bond. Water is a polar molecule, meaning one end has partial positive charge, which you can see at the end of the hydrogen atom, and the other has partial negative charge, which you can see at the end of the oxygen atom. Now, we look at the properties of water and it's important to the cell. The first property is water is universal solvent to many molecules. Why? This is because of its polarity property that I mentioned just now. And what is the importance of this polarity property? Because of this polarity property, Water is able to dissolve many polar and ionic substances. They are able to transport a medium for many dissolved substances such as carbon dioxide, nutrients and hormones for biochemical reactions. In this diagram, you see the property of water that is cohesive force and adhesive force. The cohesion is the attraction between the water molecules, whereas adhesion is the attraction between the water molecules to other substance. Normally, in case of the plant, it is between water molecule and the wall of the xylem. What is the importance of this cohesive and adhesive force of the water? This adhesive force and adhesive force of the water will produce capillary action. Why? Okay, because and the importance of this cohesive and adhesive force is it will enable the movement of water through the xylem vessel in plants to maintain a continuous flow of water from roots to the leaf. Next property of water is specific heat capacity. Water has high water specific heat capacity that is 4.2 kJ over kilogram per Celsius. Why is this property important? It means it takes a lot of energy to raise the temperature of certain amount of water by a degree. Due to that, water is able to help to regulate the temperature in the environment. So what is the importance? It allows the temperature of the water in the pond to stay relatively constant from day to night, regardless of the changing atmospheric temperature. That's all for today's lesson about the properties of water and why that property of water are important. Till then, bye-bye.